Hi everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hug for the weekend of Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 28th, 29th and 30th of June. And for Friday, the energy is a happy move to a new home, place or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. So for anyone who is concerned about their home, concerned about their uh, working environment, Today is Friday is going to be a very important day to really, really look at that, to really consolidate everything that you've learned in the past year, everything that's been leading you to that point, so that when you go, when you do make that shift, when you're ready to really be sort of full steam ahead with your next set of plans, you really have clarity about what exactly needs to change. What is it or what was it that was not quite right about the old space? or the old job or the old way of working. For some of us, it means that there will be a transition in the way that we work. So for example, we'll be adding new ways of working to what we already do, or there'll be a new consciousness coming in. So it's a good time on Thursday to really check in with ourselves and say, well, okay, I wanna get really clear about what this needs to become now. What is the move? Because a move isn't always a physical move. It can be a part of this movement that's constantly happening within us. So although we are still integrating the changes today uh, Friday is going to be a day to allow that integration to inform what the next moves will be either in home or in career or in consciousness so to just get really quiet within ourselves and to just know that change is always inevitable change is going to happen don't feel that because you are where you are now and you feel that you're stuck and you're never going to be anyone else and or anywhere else either um, don't feel that that is the case don't buy into any kind of a, a concrete or stuck mindset just yet because things are going to be on the move again in quite a powerful way very soon. So that's some reassurance for some of you because I know that some people out there are really still looking for a place that you can call a sacred space within your homes and feeling the urgency of that. I feel that what that card is reminding us of is that there is a real urgency for that now because as we step up, up, step up our vibrations even more, we are really needing to go in inside and to have places where we can go inside and be quiet and reconnect and really feel as if we are able to get aligned very quickly with source rather than being just tossed around constantly in a maelstrom of activity and domesticity and stuff that's happening. We have to be able to step off the wheel now at least a couple of times a day and connect and start to grow that connection. Okay, so for Saturday, wake up call. <laughs> I love it. So we've just said we're consolidating and we're integrating. So how does that work with the wake up call? Well, Friday, in a sense, is the wake up call. Friday is, in a sense, that place we get to where we say, okay, something needs to change. I need to take it on board. I might not be ready to do that change just yet, but something needs to change. And that energy continues into Saturday. And it's still time to just keep gathering information, just keep noticing, but do not ignore the call. Saturday is gonna be a clear message that says, okay, right, I need to take this on board now, that there is an adjustment that needs to be, needs to be made. Either I need to find solutions within this situation that will make it work, do things differently and negotiate with the people involved so that we can come to peaceful solutions and ways of doing things differently or I need to be finding other options that will remove me. But let's try to remember that when this happens, we're still very much in charge of the energy of the situation. So let's not be too dictated to by what appears to be on the surface. It might be a good idea to just step outside of the personality a little bit on Saturday and ask what is the higher learning in this? What is the higher solution? Because there is always a higher solution somewhere. But Saturday is definitely going to be a day for waking up and noticing what needs to change. Okay, so for Sunday, I think I might pick a couple of cards for Sunday and I feel as if I'm going to the Saints and Angels again first. So um, yeah, I'm just... Uh, really connecting with the energy of Sunday and feeling a real deep peace and stillness. And I know that's a cliche and it's very traditional, but there is still an energy that goes around in you know many, many parts of the world of uh, there is at least an attempt 
for most of us to go quieter, if not completely quiet, you know, with all of the sort of commercialism and materialism and consumerism, if not completely quiet, at least more quiet than all the other days. So let's take advantage of that. Let's see what the cards say. Forgiveness, Mary Magdalene. So this is something that needs to be integrated on Sunday, forgiveness. I think we talked earlier in the week about broken relationships or relationships that, that cause a split within us. And in this time of integration and consolidating our learning, a really powerful thing that we can do is to look at a situation that's caused us pain or that we feel has maybe stopped us from progressing or moving ahead in the way that we feel we could have done in life. It's a time to let go of all of those regrets, to take our power back by looking at our lives honestly, looking at ourselves honestly and saying, well, okay, maybe I didn't go to art school or whatever because so and so that's probably a message for someone in particular actually maybe that didn't happen because so and so was guiding me into law school or whatever maybe such and such happens because I listened to so and so but this is right here and now maybe you know you might feel that something has scarred you and that has affected your ability to have confidence and go for things but there are no mistakes ultimately there are no mistakes and we are all moving towards love we're all moving towards a divine space of love so if and it's never too late to take our power back. It's never too late. So, Sunday, notice what it is that you're holding on to that's telling you that something in the past, something outside yourself has stopped you from doing something. And forgive that incident or person. Forgive it. Let it go. Realise that it can't have a hold on you unless you allow it to. And really let it go with love. Let go its power and influence over you and surrender it to the angels. It doesn't mean that you're condoning anyone's behavior or that they weren't you know, acting in a way that was not necessarily divine at that time. However, let's see the overall outcome, the end result as divine because everything is ultimately divine perfection. As long as we can still love, that's much more divine than holding on to resentment and it certainly doesn't serve us. So Sunday is a powerful, we powerful day for forgiveness and integrating the forgiveness and the new consciousness of I am empowered again now. And I'm going to pick a nice card from uh, Diana Cooper's Unicorn deck, which I really love, and just sort of maybe embellish on that a little bit, just to give another card for Sunday. Perspective, again, I've said it so many times, every time I pick up this deck, I get the same card. We've had this card so many times. But again, it makes perfect sense with forgiveness. See the higher picture, see the higher perspective. Understand that there is a divine plan. So there are two perspectives here. There's the one that's happening on the ground in the 3D reality of where we think this has happened and we think that's been done to us and we think that we've been thwarted or whatever. And then, or we think this person is causing us trouble, as my guide is saying. And then there's the higher perspective where we understand that everything is leading us towards peace and love ultimately and everything is teaching us something along that journey that's actually going to get us there in the end. So even if we can't necessarily see this much of a high perspective where we embrace the person who's hurt us, at least let's trust that ultimately anything that's really ours is coming to us. Anything or anyone that we were destined to become, we will be by the grace of God, by the grace of the divine of source, or of our connection with our own higher consciousness, whichever one of those perspectives you prefer to use. And so all is well. So that's it for Sunday, perspective and forgiveness. And then releasing that and integrating the new you that begins to come forward from that place of, I am responsible for what happens now. From this moment on, no matter what happened, no matter what was said or what was done or not done, I am responsible for what happens from this moment on, for what I do with the consciousness. Or if you like, you know, if you still want to be, a, uh, you know, in that victim-y consciousness, it's up to me what I do with the crumbs <laughs> that are left or with, you know, how I emerge from the ashes. It's up to me. It's always up to us. So that's it, everyone, for Sunday. Have a great weekend, and I'll be back on Monday. Bye. Bye.